Tristan is a little ham. No, we don't eat that. We don't eat that. He's a very chill little kid. He's like the perfect baby you could ever ask for. So he's my last. <laughs> I want to end it on a good note. It's scary. He's he's my only he's my only baby. Um, so even though I, I know what they're gonna do and I'm aware of the robotics, it's still scary because I know that he's gonna be put to sleep for three hours and you know there's always complications no matter how minimal it is. Um, and that's a big, I mean, that's a big thing. And anytime as a parent you're dealing with your child's health, you want the best possible health care you can get for them. Okay. When Dr. Earhart told us that he'd have to have surgery and told me it was robotic, yeah. I was excited because I knew about it and I was aware that it was a faster recovery time, less time in the surgery, um, and it was less invasive, so he wouldn't be cut open and, and all that being so little. So I was less nervous about the surgery just because of that. This Da Vinci robot has four arms. We have three, one, two, and three over there. The three arms are used for instruments. Each arm can hold an instrument, as you see we have it set up here. The center arm is for the scopes, what we call the camera. Any movement the surgeon makes is replicated here. So if that surgeon opens and closes his fingers, then the jaws of the instrument are gonna open and close. If that surgeon advances his arms, he's gonna advance his camera down inside uh, the abdomen of the patient. The bottom line to robotic surgery, it's extremely safe. The master-slave system, it is not gonna move, it's not gonna make any movement without that surgeon directing it from the console. What the 3D imagery allows you to do is have excellent depth perception and moving around the instruments and the organs in order to precisely get down to the point that needs uh, repair when you're performing your surgery. A little bit nervous? Very. Well, you know, we'll take good care of them. And basically, we kind of mm -hmm. talked a little bit about the surgery today and the fact that we're going to be going through the belly button and those small incisions. And also how for this type of surgery, we use, we use a robot to help me. One of the big factors and benefit having the robotic surgery is that there would be minimal scarring. Since it's less invasive, he'd have, I believe, like four little scars and one would be in the belly button. So you'd never see that one. And thankfully, he's so young that his skin has time to heal and he'll grow up and they'll disappear. It'll be like it never happened. It was never there. So he won't have a huge scar for the rest of his life. We're in the best hands that we can be in. And we're a Baptist, we've got the best doctors that can do this, we've done our homework, they've done their homework, and now we're to the point where we just want to, we want to do it. We're ready for him to get there. All right, Mom and Dad, this is the official hugging spot. <laughs> the official hugging spot. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, this was... Like any parents of a child who has to undergo surgery, there is a extreme amount of anxiety and it's nice to kind of allay their fears at the children's hospital when everybody is geared towards taking care of the child and uh, it goes a long way in helping the parents get through a uh, trying situation. So the first thing we do is make a small incision down near the belly button then we put our uh, access ports in and then what we're going to do is get the robot on over put it up against the patient, and then sit down at the console and start our working. And the kidney is located right behind the intestine. And the area where we need to work is going to be right here. So we can go through, the, we can make a little window right here without having to move the intestines on the other side of the kidney. These little pumping things here are the blood vessels that carry the oxygen and nutrients to the intestine. So we have to be really careful about working around those blood vessels. We didn't sleep very well last night, but it was tough this morning. You know, we cried a little bit, held him real close, and sat here. And every time somebody turns the corner and some scrubs, I'm just like, oh. but yeah. it's not for us. So your heart stops for that second when yeah. you're waiting to hear your name. So everything went great. It was just a little small segment of the tube that was kind of didn't form right. Like I mentioned to you before, mm -hmm. that's the most common thing you find. Basically, should heal in great, and we'll just follow that along. Good. Okay. Kidneys healthy, still healthy. Should, looked really good. I don't don't do too, the, the kidney scan test tells me how good that's that kidney works. My eyes don't tell me, but it everything looked good. And as far as his mobility, will he be able to when we take him home? Can he get in his walker? Can he? Yep. Crawl no around? restrictions. No restrictions at all on it. Oh. Yep. Wow. 
to stay out of the tub for a couple of days and stay out of swimming for a couple of days. You can Perfect. do that. We can yeah. do that. Okay. Awesome. So he did great. You guys have any questions? No, thank you nope. so much. You're welcome. Happy to hear. Thank you. We'll see you guys later. We'll thank check you. on him later. Good job, you and the robot. Grandma. <laughs> Huge relief that he's here and everything went great and he's doing good. Yeah. So. Oh. Came out healthy. Everything's fine. Happy ending. <laughs> yep. Little scars, nothing big, and he'll never know. It, it's always extremely rewarding to see the family back and hear the success story of both the parent and the child getting back to their normal activities much quicker than they anticipated. And then when you see the small scars, it makes them feel even better about the results that their child has had with the success of their surgery. All right. I feel like long-term effects, he's going to heal faster and th there's going to be less of an impact on him as he gets older. Uh, I love sports and I hope that one day he plays sports and that was always one of my goals was whatever happens through this that he's able to do whatever he wants to do. If he wants to pursue sports, he can. Yes. Yeah. He, boxing could be his sport.